<laughs> Y'all, we doing face masks. I rented out a room on Craigslist. Y'all, this room was in the hood, y'all. It was in the hood in Orlando. Oh, it is about to go down. We we got some food. This is some this is some Jamaican food. And the boy, he got them coochie cutters on. <laughs> Sit. I got something, y'all. You said you got We are unloading. They say what's up. <laughs> we outside, y'all. Go! To our entire KP Nation. KP Nation it is, y'all. Right, um, <laughs> The votes are in, they've been counted, they've been tallied, and KP Nation it is. So, if you're under the umbrella, we thank you for being here. Thank you for watching us. Yes. If this is your first time here, you can be a member. So that's what you're doing. Hit that subscribe I'm button. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not only fans, but you know, link in bio. Um, right, so guys, so today we wanted to give you guys a night routine. We already did a morning routine with yeah, you. We wanted to basically just have a conversation with y'all just about moving and starting over and not being scared to do that. You know, mm -hmm. that's one question a lot of people have for us is like, how do we do it? Like, what? That, that whole process. Right. I actually just talked to one of my family members about who recently moved and she just was asking me like, what did you do? What made you, you know, just that conversation of how did you keep going in somewhere new that you've never been before? Right. And so we just wanted to talk to y'all just about that our process. Yeah, as we wind down. down. You know, y'all, you know, we doing face masks. <laughs> right. So, guys, one of the things that we really want to examine is like the pros and cons of moving. More so the pros than the cons. Um, but yeah, and just kind of touch on our own experiences a little yeah. bit. Uh, so, you know, what that was uh, like for us, really. Yeah. So, as you guys know, Pierre has been in Florida for 10 years. I've been here for 8 years. And. Uh, you know, we're both transplants, we both took the risk, we both got up and we just said, you know what, let's try some new it's time to go, right? Um, and that is always something scary because in a lot of cases you move into a whole new country, new culture, new place, and you're really just trying to start your life all over from scratch and just see where the journey takes you. And that's not something easy to do. A lot of people prefer live among their family members, their siblings, their, their high school classmates, and you know, just stay where they grew up and just kind of build their life the same way that the people before them have done, right? Um, so that's kind of why we felt the need to talk about this because all the time people would ask, you know, say they want to move or say they hate where they live. And we're like, if you hate it that bad, bitch, go. Like, <laughs> I got a question for you. Uh -huh. Have you ever, or the, the people, the KMP Nation. <laughs> KMP. My question for y'all is, uh, do y'all use face masks? Like, is that y'all thing and y'all nightly routine? If y'all do, put it in the comments so that way we can know. Because we, we open a try and, you know, other, yeah, if other shit on our face. Because we, we normally don't do this on a everyday basis. Oh, hell no. So, I, could, I could not. <laughs> so My skin good. So. Black don't crack. <laughs> I don't know what that girl was talking about on um, on online this week about black cracking. We don't crack. <laughs> But yes, <laughs> you on that one. But going back to y'all, um, walking through just our st our story of moving from one place to another. When I moved to Florida, my mom had already moved here. 
two years prior. She lived in Orlando. So y'all, we're gonna give y'all a little story time. <laughs> so I moved to Orlando with my mom and I lived with her for, I wanna say, two, about two months. And then what I did was, well, let me back up. I transferred my job at the time I was working at Sims Club so I transferred my job down, and that's something I recommend y'all do too. If you have a job, don't quit it. Just transfer it on down and get a new one once you live here. It's always good to have some kind of an income coming in. I mean, we all forget to <laughs> Florida. We just had. <laughs> right. Fire, just moving in general. Wherever you go. Right. Right. So... I transferred my job, moved down, lived here for, lived with my mom for two months in Orlando. This one I was 20, 22. Now, by this time, this is my first time living with her as an adult, and I'm like, oh no, I can't do it. I need, I need to go. I'm grown. Mm-mm. So I, I went on Craigslist, y'all. I would not recommend this for everybody, but I had to do what I had to do. So I went on Craigslist, I found this um, place that was renting rooms. I rented out a room on Craigslist. Y'all, this room was in a hood, y'all. It was in a hood in Orlando. It was in Pine Hills. So if you in Orlando, you know Pine Hills, you know that's the trap. Trap in there. Yeah, but shit, I didn't know it was the hood. I just had moved there, so. Right. I had to do what I had to do until. And then coming from uh, Michigan, it didn't look like yeah, it. Look like it. palm trees. Okay, right. Florida would fool you. Would fool like, you. Florida you would not would No, fool you would be you. like, oh, I'm thinking. No, you're in the you're trap. You're people with palm trees. <laughs> and a, they're living on a lake. And right. They have palm trees. That's why it's always best you come before trap. you come. That'd be the time trap. Anything. But, so yeah, I moved down. I got me this, this room on Craigslist. It was in a trap, it, y'all. It was, it wasn't, it wasn't doing what needed to be done, y'all. They ain't had no carpet in this house, but it was all good. I made that shit at home. I went and bought me a little area rug. I put my little, I had a little blow up bed. <laughs> little razzle dazzle. I had my little, I had my laptop, so I was good. I'm like, I had, I, I had my private bathroom, right. so I was good. Muy importante. Yeah. So I did that for about two months. Then I ended up getting a job at a bank because I wanted to, you know, move on up. And, you know, like with working. So hi, hi. I started working at a bank. Hi, hi. And mm-hmm. I ended up becoming, you know, at this particular financial institution, one of the, you know, I was a manager out there. Eventually I became one. But Initially, when I got the job, I'm like, okay, cool. Now I can apply for an application for an apartment. apartment. (laughs) And that's exactly what I did. And then I moved into my own shit. And ever since then, it's been up. So with my story, I say that all to say, y'all, I was living in a trap, sleeping on a damn hard concrete floor with a damn area rug over it in a blow up bed to start off. Y'all, don't be scared to move. You know, I knew me sleeping there, that was just a little minor situation. I knew, I'm like, oh, this is just minor. I'm about to get my nice, you know. Be up. <laughs> be up. But yeah, so that was my onboarding to coming from Michigan to Florida. And y'all, don't be scared. Just do it. If you... If you want to move, move. And if you've already moved and you thinking about going back because shit is getting real. Don't do it. Don't. Think about it like this. There is no plan B. Because that's how it was for me. I'm like, oh, this is it. <laughs> there is no plan B. Right. Stay the course. Stay. Yeah. Okay. So, wow. That's a nice story. <laughs> Um, so for me, I think I actually moved and started over twice. So as an adult was when I decided to actually Yo, check, leave. Hold on, let me, let me check out our faces. Shout out to they, they see us. That's when I decided we to leave um, Grenada and move back to Trinidad, right? And 
At that time, I really didn't know like how I was going to do it. Um, there was a, a guy who was my sister's friend who ultimately became my friend who I had met a couple of years prior. And just in conversation with him, you know, he was like, yo, I got a room here, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, if you ever wanted to move back or come, if you come, go to school, do what you need to do, whatever. And, you know, we just figured it out. And I, I, I kind of played with that for a while until, like, one day I was like, you know what? I'm gone. I'm gone. And I need to get up out of here. Here. Because... <laughs> I knew, I, I just knew that, you know, I wanted more, like I wanted more for myself and, you know, I knew that, you know, the based on where I lived at the time, the time frame to achieve what I wanted to achieve was a lot greater and I just had to go, right? So I got up and I moved back to Trinidad. So I stayed there for a couple of months and I went out to my own place, yeah, 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 yeah. And I reestablished my life in Trinidad, and that was great. That was great. I, I did the damn thing. Like, I went from, it was really up from me leaving Grenada to move to Trinidad and really just living mm. on my own. Um, yeah, my life been on an upward trajectory since then. Mm. And then, you know, after a couple of years of living there and doing that, I felt like I outgrew it. I felt like the type of money I want to make. The type of open, free lifestyle that I wanted to have, I couldn't do that there. Mm. And I felt like it was time to go again. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. And in fact, like coming to America wasn't even on my radar. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I wanted to, I always thought that I'd end up in, the, in, in Europe, like in the UK or somewhere else, in the cold. But then when I came to Miami for the first time, yeah, I tasted this US of A. Oh, child. The first time I came to Miami, I remember it like it was yesterday. I'm strolling down South Beach and I'm on the beach and I'm looking around and I'm like, damn, this place is different. Ain't no place like here I ain't never seen before. And I, I was just standing there just looking around. I'm like, yeah, I can move here. I could do this. It was literally that day I made the decision I wanted to move here. I didn't know how. I didn't know how it was going to happen, I just knew that it was going to happen. And the universe and God just kind of worked shit out and it just did. That was the two times I moved. And it was a risk both times because you just move in with the hope and the, the, the trust that it's going to, and the faith that it's going to work gonna out, you know? <laughs> you just yeah. got to do it though because yeah. being scared and not taking risk can never yeah. serve nobody. And y'all, like, when I had moved from Grand Rapids to Orlando, I had my own car, I had my own job, I had my own place, I had all those things. And when I moved down here, I knew I wasn't going to have my own place and I knew I was going to take a few steps back to get 10 steps forward. You know, That's sometimes it, huh? I mean, that wasn't going nowhere. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I was living up in the, the, the trap, I was like, Lord, but I knew it was only, it was a minor, minor situation. So. Right. But yeah. Yeah, so I mean, that was good, but so yeah. you want to move, move y'all? Our advice story. always is get that ass up and right. go. Because you just never know where you're going to end up. And the thing is, like, your idea of what is going to be or how good it's going to be, it's always better. Like, yeah, so do it. Right, well, of course. Like, do it. The coins of moving, I mean, those are pros. The pros are new culture starting over. Nobody knows you. So you literally get to redefine yourself from There's scratch. no cons. There is no <laughs> cons in that. Like... <laughs> You get to tell people who you are and reintroduce yourself and learn new things and just recreate your energy and your life. You get a chance to do that by moving. And all the people who Ooh, you grew up with. Burn. Yeah, it's been. <laughs> it's all burn. the people who you grew up with, like now that they meet you after you've moved, you're a whole new person. They don't know you. And all the limitations you've had in the place that you lived and grew up in with people knowing you, that's gone. So it's actually a big plus. Doing anything out of your comfort zone yeah, is going to make you uncomfortable. Yeah. But I like to, to a certain extent, be uncomfortable. 
I'm never too comfortable. That's where the growth lies. That's where the growth lies. That's it. You know? <laughs> but yeah, it's, I mean, it could be tough sometimes. You're learning a whole new culture. You gotta learn new laws. You gotta learn a new way of life. But if you look at it differently, it's exciting. Yeah. All right, y'all. Yeah. Let's show y'all this. All right, y'all. We we still how we looking? We looking good? So <laughs> this a mess. So I mean, we could go like grab the dinner and stuff. Oh yeah, y'all. So we actually Probably. have some food already cooked because ain't nobody already got time done. to be so cooked yet. Ain't nobody got time. <laughs> What else did we say we was gonna talk about? That's like moving. Yeah, yeah. I'm moving uh, tomorrow, y'all. We have our fitness event, so I might actually vlog that too. Mm -hmm. We see. I'll see if I can get him up early enough. Then it's gonna be a vlog. But if it's not y early, and we rushing. Y'all see what he just did. <laughs> KP Nation, do you see what he just did? If it's too early and we need to get out, passive aggression. I'm That's just, I'm being honest to, passive aggression. to the nation out here. Yalla showed us the signs, and there you go. Mm -mm, I'm <laughs> just being honest. All right, so Bay is slaving over a hot stove right now. Hot stove. <laughs> a microwave. <laughs> We're warming our food up. Plus, I was slaving to make this meal. <laughs> this meal, just to get this meal ready, I was a slave. <laughs> this is y'all. It is about to go down. We we got some food. This is some. This is some Jamaican food. Babe, what all you get us? <laughs> you curry chicken on the house. Two. Mmm. Y'all see that curry though? Okay, now this is the curry, y'all. This is the this is the stew right here. I hope you all enjoy this conversation. We are about to finish this dinner. Mm hmm And we're about to jump in the shower, get these masks off. And that'll be that for us. That'll be a wrap. And tomorrow. <clears throat> that's our fitness event. Y'all hear that slurping? That's when the sun's drinking water. <laughs> right. Well, but yeah, tomorrow our fitness event, we're going to have it at the you know, South Beach. Miami Beach Volleyball. It's about to be course. lit. We got some different games and stuff we're going to add to it. So It's going to be a lot of fun. Y'all, it's, it's Friday. And this video is going to be uploaded by Sunday. So we, we got some shit popping. And... Right. I want to add the fitness event in there. I'm gonna try. So we gonna we gonna see what it do. But yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys, KP Nation, for sticking right. around. Always appreciate you guys. And yo, if you're thinking about moving, move. Put things in place and get up and go. Right. Y'all playing small and playing scaring and serving nobody and it's not gonna help you. Nobody, right? baby. So get up and do the damn thing and see what you can make of your life and elevate your shit. All right? Peace, love, and happiness. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> Good morning, KP Nation. It is Saturday. It is event day. KJ is in the shower. I'm, I'm already dressed. I'm ready to go. <laughs> so I'm about to run to the gas station. I got to get some gas. I gotta get some more water bottles because you know we got some fun games. I'm well rested, so I'm, we well rested, so we're ready to go. We're ready to do this. Um, we still gotta eat. Just something light though, because you don't want to be too heavy. You don't want to eat anything heavy, you know, on a on a event day. You want something light. Then afterwards, we are gonna go to brunch. So to be honest, I might do like two boiled eggs, and that's it. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna need because the event is about an hour and 30 minutes. And then after that, we go get, we go to brunch. We brunch. So, um, we have some of our stuff over here. I'm gonna show you all that. Okay. So, that's the speaker we use. That's some water bottles. That's our, um, you know, buckets right there. And then that's the cooler. So we take all that, and then all our other stuff is. Uh, hold on, let me, let me, let me get 
much all right. <laughs> all right, and all our other stuff already in the car, like our mats. Uh, Jamal's going to bring the volleyballs and all the other things that we use when we do our outside park or beach workouts. They all in the car already. So we don't, we don't have to do too much before we go. Um, but yeah, we can't wait y'all. It's gonna be, it's gonna be lit. And like I said, I'm gonna try to vlog the whole process before. <laughs> and the event itself. And you know, us going to brunch afterwards. This is just, our weekend and what we do so yeah let's talk to y'all later Oops. look at the boy he got them coochie cutters on <laughs> yes i have to get that ass on record kj is up and ready to go he's out the shower welcome back kp nation <laughs> Um, so I don't know what he talking about, but all the hype he was talking, I woke mm. up first. Ooh. I was up. I. I, I. Beat I. Him on everything. Yeah. Right, so you can sit over there with all that rah rah, but I don't mean that. Because res ipsa locator. You know what I'm saying? Res ipsa locator. That's all I gotta say. So, that being said. Hush your con child. Hush your con. <laughs> uh, my trainees know what that means. <laughs> Hush your con. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, we're super excited, super pumped for this workout. We're about to go hit. Um, we have a little protein shake, breakfast of champions. I said I was going to do some eggs, uh, boiled egg, two boiled eggs, but when I went to the gas station to get the gas, like I told y'all, I saw these and some bars, you know, some right, you know, so protein I mean, bars. That is going to be perfect for us for before the workout, and then of course, then we brunch. Fuel on the yeah, it's fuel on the go. So, <laughs> guys, what are you guys up to today? Y'all getting into anything? Are y'all gonna work out today? Let's talk about it. Do y'all work out? And if not, why the they fuck this on not? Sunday, so wake that ass okay, up. Okay, so Sunday. Why not? Talk to me. Tell me, what's the problem? You're injured? You're sick? If not, why not? Okay? So, stick around. We want to go. Y'all look at our little, you know. Our little one, two. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> y'all know we live to match, y'all. Well, let me put this. We live for some shorts, bit. too, so. You know. But yeah, so this workout's gonna be awesome. Today is gonna be awesome, and we just thought that we would take y'all on that journey. So come along, Pooh. Come along, Pooh. <laughs> Period. Come here, boy. Where's us? Where's us? Come here. See? I think I got something, y'all. You such a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Renaissance. Here. Sit. Sit. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good walk. It's time for him to go for a walk with his daddy. Stun like his daddy. Come on. While I finish getting the stuff up. Aww. My baby. Ray, join that beat going crazy. Set up. We we outside. As you can see, people are trickling in, like, <laughs> and we let them. Up. It's in a drought, like. <laughs> but we like, outside, y'all. They're coming. All right. So we're about to get this shit started. It's about to be a good lit. workout. It's gonna be fun. All right, y'all. <laughs>
in here. It's a bit safe space. They damn near killed me, but it was fun. I love the camaraderie. They're great group of guys, and it's a lot of fun. But I'm prepared to work your ass off. Let you go at your own pace. <laughs> Thank you for coming out. KP Nation. KP Nation, y'all. We just finished we back. our event. Yes. And it was awesome. It was very good. As you can see, we didn't got a few shades darker, y'all. Oh that sun been beating on it. That sun will get to you. Yeah. That sun will get to you. But we had a great time. It was a great turnout. Yeah. And it was fun. We y'all we had a lot they, of fun. They we worked out. It was it was a good work. Rings are closed. Period. <laughs> Period. And now that we're all done, we're about to go eat. Eat. Cause after yum, a good, yum, yum, a good yum, hard yum. workout, who doesn't want to. I mean, you need nourishment. You need right. to replenish all those replenish. calories. Right. All them calories that we well, just. Well, not burned. all of them. Okay. You need to be. Right. Some. You got to leave some of them. Right. But <laughs> some need to go in the tank. Right. You know what I'm have saying? a nice drink, y'all. It's Saturday. It's noon. So down here, that's what we do. Yeah. Well, <laughs> y'all see time. this weather? Look at this weather. Yeah. We in Miami, y'all. Is that right here? Yeah. We just have to find the. I was up there, like, I hope I can get the same spot to the same area. Right. I don't pay that whole, y'all have over an hour left on this park, and so I need to find a spot to use that shit, because I ain't paying again. Y'all hear all this noise? People with me. KB Nation is in full effect. Uh, be sure, if you haven't already, to like, like comment, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> that I'm way you can get... about this video. Yeah, let us know. Other than that, y'all, it's been real. Peace, love, and happiness. And sleep.